now we will discuss about the artery supply at the front of forearm and hand today we will discuss about the superficial palmar arch superficial palmar arch in previous lectures you have seen radial artery ulnar artery now superficial palmar arch here you have seen this is radial artery this is course of radial artery and this is ulnar artery it is course of ulnar artery same thing in this diagram here is position of this is radial artery this radial artery at the lower end of radius it turns towards the lateral side it passes deep to abductor pulsus longus and extensor pulsus brevis it goes into anatomical snuff box here anatomical snuff box and then passes deep to extensor pulsus longus and it reaches into the posterior side here from here it turns toward the anterior side in between the two heads of first dorsal introsciae here is two heads of the dorsal introsciae it reaches into between the two heads of the dorsal introsciae before reaching here it gives a branch which is known as first this is first dorsal metacarpal branch this is first dorsal metacarpal branch which gives supply to adjacent side of the first and second finger this is first dorsal metacarpal artery so this is first dorsal metacarpal artery now after giving this branch it reaches into reaches between two heads of the first dorsal introsciae after passing the two heads of the dorsal introsciae it again reaches deep to oblique head of the here oblique head of the here is oblique head of this adductor pulsus from here it reaches deep to oblique head of the adductor pulsus here lies oblique head of adductor pulsus here it gives two branches one branch is princeps pulsus artery is princeps pulsus so it gives a branch known as princeps pulsus here it divides gives a medial and lateral digital branch give supply to both side of the thumb so this is princess pulsus this branch and the branch and the branch is radialis indices here is radialis indices this is radialis indices it gives supply to radial side of the index finger on the palmar aspect and the branch here you can see just before passing lateral into uh, another step box it gives a branch this branch is superficial palmar branch this is superficial palmar branch this is superficial palmar branch this is superficial palmar branch of radial artery this is superficial palmar branch so here you can see this is superficial palmar branch here is first dorsal 
metacarpal this is princeps pollicis this is radialis indices this is branch of these are the branches of this radial artery here you can see this is ulnar artery this is ulnar artery passes superficial to flexor retinaculum and here is position of palmaris brevis this is palmaris brevis here it lies lateral to this nerve this is ulnar nerve this ulnar nerve also passes superficial to flexor retinaculum deep to palmaris brevis here this artery divides into superficial and deep branches here it gives superficial branch this is superficial branch and another branch is deep branch this is deep branch it passes deep to palmaris brevis we both these arise deep to palmaris brevis so this is deep branch this is superficial branch this superficial branch may anastomose with this branch this is superficial palmar branch of radial artery it forms the superficial palmar arch sometimes this may anastomose with princeps pollicis this sometimes it may anastomose with radialis indices so this superficial branch of ulnar artery may anastomose with superficial palmar branch of radial artery it may anastomose with princeps pollicis here yeah. it may anastomose with radialis indices and it by anastomosing any of these branches it completes the arch so this becomes superficial palmar arch this superficial palmar arch gives four branches one branch is a palmar digital branches these are four palmar digital branches this is medial most passes on medial side or ulnar side of the little finger and these two devices give supply to adjacent fingers this is palmar digital branches so this is superficial palmar arch thank you